We have new developments tonight on a story you saw first on 7 Action News at 5. It's all about the mayor of Highland Park and what happened after police pulled him over in his own city. 7 Action News reporter Cheryl Choden is there live tonight. And Cheryl, you talked to the city attorney tonight about this. Well, that's right, Carol, and I did, and he also represents the mayor, and his version of what happened is a little bit different than what the police officers and their lawyer are saying. Nobody's above the law, and just because you're the mayor doesn't mean you have more rights than any other citizen any place. Lawyer Joel Sklar represents two Highland Park police officers who say they were fired by Mayor DeAndre Windham after they pulled the mayor over in his city car. Todd Russell Perkins represents the mayor and the city. I don't see it as any issue of criminality at this point. This is all about what allegedly happened the night of March 30th with an X on his plate which shows it's a city car and police lights in the grill that were reportedly on. Police say Mayor Windham ran a red light. They pulled him over. The mayor was less than pleased. One officer wearing a wire confronted the mayor a few days later. We've obtained the audio. So then when I identified myself, that was like, because you don't know, right? You didn't identify yes, yourself. Yes, I did. I said, I'm Mayor Window. After that, I did say, sir, you have a good night. No, you did yes, not. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I said, sir, you have a good night. Okay. And you get out of the car. Well, then you call me a dum-dum. You admit calling me a dum-dum? Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. The officer tells the mayor he didn't know if the car was stolen or who was in it. And when it reportedly went through the light at Ferris and Woodward at 1130 that night, he knew what he had to do. If you commit a traffic violation, a responsible police officer who sees it is going to pull you over. And that's what my clients did in this case. I work hard for the police department. All right. They saved the police department. So I'm not against the police department. I didn't say you were, sir. The officers say they were told to go home that night and were off for several days. They're back on the job now, but the mayor's lawyer says... There's been no negative or adverse action by the city against these officers or by the administration. The mayor didn't want to go on camera or answer questions tonight, but we asked his lawyer if the mayor should drive a different car or be ticketed or what's next. On the audio tape, the mayor says this is the second time this has happened. We'll look at it, uh, review it, make a determination as to what, if anything, to do. So there are still questions tonight. Should the mayor be driving a city car with police lights and using them if that's what happened? Will he get a ticket? We'll follow the story and let you know what happens. In Highland Park, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News. Okay, Cheryl, thank you.